Welcome back to Phase Paradox. In the last episode, we pushed through some jelly. With a jelly pusher. I'm sorry, I just like saying jelly pusher. Anyway, uh, I think we're continuing as Jude. CIC has been destroyed. It's impossible. How could that have happened? Lieutenant, what'll we do now? We're going to the bio lab. To the lab? It's the only logical place to go at this point. The Alien Organism Countermeasure Agency. Yes. All of this happened as a result of some unknown infectious disease. If it wasn't dealt with in the medical area, bio lab is the only place left. If it is some kind of disease, there must be a source of infection. Maybe they have a solution. We know what happened to the doctor, and we can't have that happen to anyone else. If only there was a way to distinguish those who were infected from the rest of us. The bio lab can deal with the level 5 hazard, so I'm sure they will have a countermeasure. And since an order to abandon ship hasn't been issued by the captain, we've got to deal with this as best we can. Okay, let's go. Right, let's head toward the stern. Jude must be completely unaware of the fact that there's a self-destruct that the captain can activate. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said it's impossible. I mean, like, the self-destruct isn't something that was just added in after the fact. It's just kind of like an accident or something. That's designed into the very core of it. Locked. aren't right around here either. It looks like it's been seriously affected. You two wait here while I go up ahead and check it out. Lieutenant. Don't worry, Yuma. I won't be long. <coughs> yeah, Yuma. Huh? Fuck him up. <laughs> what, is this? what is this? <laughs> What's happening? This is the second time now that he's told everyone else to like wait behind, but then he goes forwards and then they some for some reason just show up anyways. Uh sure. Sure. <laughs> That's what I chose. <laughs> Yuma, why did you die when I killed you? Melee! No! Oh, I think she had white eyes, so I think she's been taken over. Although I don't understand why Yuma pushed Jude over, but I mean, come on. Jude is really pushable. Uh, I'll try saying yes, no. Yuma, what are you doing? Stay down! I can't believe Mei Li was one of them. It was so sudden, she pulled the gun out of nowhere. I shot... Mei Li... I shot her. You didn't have any choice, Yuma. We've got to get to the bio lab as fast as we can. I've had enough of this. Rip, Mei Li.
did it. I wonder why it moved so suddenly. So much time has passed. I've got to hurry. here. Wait! What's going on? Stop! Don't come any closer! I'm a research assistant at the lab. My name is Isla Hoybrotten. Don't shoot! Who and what you are is irrelevant. It is prohibited to enter. If you disobey, we will stop you by force. This is not a bluff. Just contact Dr. Plant. She knows me. Step away from the door. Dr. Plant, it's me, Isla. Let me in. Next time I won't miss. Now turn around and go back. Let's see if that's true. No! Uh. Turn around and leave. No one is allowed to pass through here. What is going on? It's not true, they still missed. You're making a big mistake! Look at this! Listen, I've got to see the doctor! Ah! Ah! Are they supposed to be able to read her, like, name tag from 50 feet away? Okay. It's probably something in one of these rooms, maybe. What is that noise? That's weird. I've never seen an option selection like that. It's always on the like the bottom of the screen. Uh, yes. Ah! Get down! Fire! Cease fire! Are you all right? Sorry about being so rough with you. Dr. Plant's waiting for you. You can go right in. What was that? It was an organelle. I'm sure the doctor will explain everything in detail. I don't understand. Why did you help me? Because your ID was confirmed. Anyway, go on inside. I'm sorry I murdered you in that other timeline. going on? Hyla, I'm so glad you're safe. And I can't believe you made it back. Give me a break. I almost got killed by your security guards. I'm sorry, Isla, but I wasn't sure if you were still human or not. It had to be confirmed. Human? What does that mean? You'd better explain everything from the beginning. Yes, I think I'd better. There's a lot to understand. You must be exhausted. Why don't you have a seat? I prefer to stand, thank you. All right. I'm sure you've noticed the crew has started to act up a bit. Started to act up? You mean, you don't know? Actually, on my way back here, I was locked in the pod for two and a half hours because it broke down. That's terrible. I had no idea. What in the world are those things? Hmm. You were lucky you survived the attack, Isla. Those things... Those things are called organelle. 
and the ship is currently being overrun by them. Organelle? Where did they come from? Most likely they were fragments from the explosion. You mean organisms from 220? The same organisms that attacked the landing troops have penetrated this ship? Yes, but their morphology is totally different. Totally different morphology? How can that be? We're not sure. Dr. Nash Leonard is working on it right now. Dr. Plant, come in. Installation of a surface contact sensor has been completed. Thank you. Since we don't know how long our present weapons will be effective, be very careful. Roger that, Doctor. What do you mean by not knowing how long our weapons will be effective? We destroyed the organelle this time, but they seem to be building up some sort of resistance. You mean, like an antibody? Exactly. That's one of the things we're sure about. Nash will be able to fill you in on the rest of it. All right? Yes, Doctor, I understand. I want you to go help Nash now. She's got her hands full. And remember, we're running against time. They're developing an antibody to lasers? Also, that person's glasses, did you see how thick those frames were, especially on the side? The, you know, the places that go behind the ear? Or like above the ear? They were like, just... Tubes. Like half-inch diameter tubes. Seems very uncomfortable. That <laughs> person with their hand to their chin, they're just like, hmm. This stuff's too advanced for me. How does this all work? Look at all this sci fi garbage. What does it even do? Dr. Park. Isla, it's you. I'm glad to see you're safe. Somehow I managed to get back. You can see the state we're in. I want you to assist Nash. She's close to finding a solution. I see. Well, go and help her. Very well, Doctor. Isla. She's in the specimen room. The specimen room? Yes, there's something there you must look at. All right, Doctor. This isn't how people talk to each other. One of those would have been the specimen rooms, but I guess it's back into the main room. I think there's another door back here that I didn't go inside of. Yeah, this one. I think, unless this is where I came from. No, this is it. your left hand over the plate. When you are ready, press the button. Sterilization beginning with a radiation application. Oh, we seem to be switching between characters a lot faster now. Okay, but don't let your guard down. Okay, Captain. All right, let's go. Oh, I hope we get to do more jelly pushing. Look at it. It's beautiful. You think so? Just gives me the creeps. Anyway, 
This place is empty. Where's the crew that's supposed to be stationed here? Maybe they left. Maybe they already took the shuttle. I'll check the control monitor. We're in luck. Looks like the shuttle hasn't launched yet. Looks like they're expecting visitors. They must be from engineering. If they had left already, it would have been all over. I don't get it. Why haven't they launched yet? Huh. I'm not sure. Let me check. That's strange. They stopped fueling for some reason. The readout's only at about 80%. I wonder why they did that. Is that why they couldn't launch? Was there any other problem? As far as I can tell, that's about it. Whatever the trouble, I don't think it caused any serious damage. You better be right for our sake. Come on, let's go. I sure hope there's a couple of seats left for the two of us. Come on, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm coming. Just had a horrifying thought. What if the explosion that the captain did, the self-destruction, blew up all the jelly? What if there's no more jelly to push? Sure. You know, the shuttle wasn't made to be an escape vehicle. It can't support life for any extended period of time. But what it can do is help us get off the gallant. Really? You're kidding. How long do you think we can stay alive? Maybe three days at the most. But a rescue signal's been sent, and they should have received it by now. Let's hurry. Right. Zombie? Get down! Mm, I'm gonna say no. Captain, do you think the shuttle has been taken over by those things? Hey, don't shoot! We came here to evacuate! There's no seats for you! If you come any closer, I'll kill you! That's no way for a member of the Gallant to act! Listen, lady! All we're trying to do is stay alive! Now get out of here! Ah! No? The rescue signal's already been sent! They should be on their way! This isn't working. I've got to do something. Captain, you can't! There's no other choice! Tanya, get back! Uh. Run! Uh. Oh. Captain! Uh. Tanya! Everybody has such terrible aim. That was the weakest death. <laughs> I mean, in the past, people have pretty much died from one laser hit, but they just like kept taking hits and just kind of just slowly went to the ground. And I don't understand what they were taking cover behind. They're taking cover behind just like a, a railing, a very sparse railing that isn't really cover at all. I don't get it. Alright, just start shooting, I guess, or whatever this option is. Can I really fight my own crewmates? This is not good. Ah! Captain! We're gonna be sitting ducks if we stay here. I would also like to point out that we've seen in the past that these guns, these weapons seem to have like five or ten shots worth of energy in them and then they just run out super quick. So these people should have run out probably 20 shots ago. Yes. Even a Wyber needs to retreat sometimes. Let's get out of here. Restoration completed. Ready for takeoff. Uh. Get down! Uh. Huh? Uh. Uh. 
Haha, <laughs> burn in hell, assholes. Also, what happened? Captain? Come on, get up. Wow, that was fun. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Please, I'm not that fragile. Are you sure? Don't strain yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at this place. What in the world just happened? Well, that pretty well destroys our chances of getting out of here. We can't get off the ship. There's nothing left. That's not true. What's left is for us to fight. Fight? How are we supposed to do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is get as far away from here as possible. All right. But how can I? Just go to the other side. Well, I think we should go to the housing zone first. What do you think? The housing zone? Yeah, to find someone who isn't crazy. Now that there's no longer any way to get off the ship, some of the crew might have gone there. Let's go. System down. Transporter not operating at present. Great. That's just what we need. Looks like we'll have to walk. Captain, this shaft will lead us directly to the maintenance area. It's quite a distance. Just stay close to me, all right? <sighs> There's no one around. I want you to stay here. What? I've got to find a better weapon. Only having this makes me feel a little uneasy. But, Captain... There's gotta be something. After all, this is the maintenance area. I understand that, but... Look, Tanya, you'll be fine. Just stay here. There's no one around and I can move faster by myself. Very well, then. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Just make sure you don't wander off anywhere. All right, I'll wait here. Just be careful, Captain. New weapon. Nice. Wonder if they have laser shotguns and laser machine guns. This looks important. But it isn't.
Hmm. Is there some way to recall the elevator, the lift? supposed to do something in this room, but I'm not sure what. Oh, I guess this is the one. Well, this is an odd place to wind up. What Tanya was telling me about. Do thing, shoot it. Come on. It's not working. Full power? Where did these G.I. Joes come from? <laughs> also, what do they mean full power? They're not using laser weapons, they're shooting... They're shooting bullets. Full power bullets? What the devil are you doing here? Massimo, you're alive. I was worried you wouldn't make it, Captain. So was I. Thanks for the help, Sergeant. So fill me in. Is everyone safe? Yes, but Jessica and Kurt didn't make it. What in the world are those things? They appear to be some kind of alien planet substance. An alien planet substance? Yeah, those things could be what wiped out our dispatch troopers on 220. And now they're inside this ship. Captain, come with us. Help me destroy those things for what they did to our troopers. Hold it. If it is an alien planet substance, some countermeasures might have been developed at the bio lab. Captain, I think you're forgetting something. We have a few countermeasures of our own. All it will take is to exterminate them from inside the ship. Listen to me. Some of the crew have gone mad. If it has something to do with those things out there and we wipe them out, we'll never know what caused it. You got that wrong, Captain. As long as those things are around, there's no way for us to survive. That means those men who died will never rest in peace. I'm not gonna let that happen. Those smart doctors are buried in their research. What can they do? Those smart doctors might have the answer. The only answer we need is right here in my hand. This is gonna be another day at target practice. I wish things were that simple. Captain, it's time for you to rejoin the Wyburns. Please, come with me. Asimo, we're wasting time. Let's go. Captain, you'll come with us now, won't you? I actually have a choice whether to go or not. Huh. I wonder if some of the decisions that you make are not actually just fail or pass? Live or die, but actually maybe just give you different, you know, pathways through the story, or maybe even different endings? I have no idea. This feels like one that I don't think would end up killing you, so this might be just a different pathway through the story. Anyway, these people are total meatheads. They have very, very simplistic views of the world. <laughs> gun is the way to solve everything. I don't think I want to go with them. No, I'm heading to the lab. If that's your decision, Captain, I understand.
So long, Captain. Good luck. I think I broke G.I. Joe's heart. I didn't respect his gun. So, am I still looking for a better weapon, or what? Or am I just getting out of here? now oh no not again <laughs> has that thing been a different color every time it's happened that wave of sound I know originally I think it was yellow I want to say this time it was red it happened another time too and I don't remember what color it was I wonder if that means anything. Probably not. Jay and Kurt. They went after the monster. No, don't! Sergeant, you're wounded. Don't worry about it. I'll be alright. He's infected. I'm fine. Wait a minute, Sergeant. Did you say the Red Ones attacked you? Yes. We couldn't get them. I can't believe our firepower didn't work. So you're saying that there are different types of these things? They weren't like the other ones. They were red, all of them. I'm going after them. I'll get them by myself if I have to. Don't be stupid. That gun won't work on them. Captain, it's hopeless. I see. Massimo, target practice is over. We have no idea what these things are. We have to stick together. Now, I saw a red wave motion a while ago, and you said that those things that attacked you were red. There's got to be a connection. Yes, I'm getting that impression. The only way to fight them is to find out what their weaknesses are. We've got to go to the bio lab. If you really want to destroy those monsters, you won't be able to rely on firepower alone. Massimo, as it stands now, we have no choice but to go to the bio lab. 
I understand what you're saying. Maybe they're more than just targets. But Captain, let me make myself perfectly clear. My one and only objective is to avenge those men. Nothing else. And for that, I'll come with you. All right, we'll do it together. So where'd you find such a beautiful girl? Oh my god. The alien should have killed you. I'll make them pay for this. <laughs> yeah, they really, they really, really drove home that color thing. Just after I was wondering about the different colors. Then they kind of dropped some things about the color. It was red ones. I'm like, okay. Red ones. Uh, I'm going to mention something else that I'm seeing on the screen in just a second. <clears throat> See if you spot it. But then they really drove it home. They really wanted you to know there's different colored ones. It's not just like, hmm, you know, think about it. Oh, maybe there's a connection. No, it's like red ones. Yes, red aliens. Red beam. There must be a connection. Red. Red. Also, what is up with his neck? Is it just... Has it always been like that? Is it just me or does he have a bit of a giraffe neck? Is it just me or does he have a very, very, very long neck? Huh. Alright. Anyway. I bet I know the secret. I bet the um, the green ones, when you see the green flash, those are that's a different faction of the aliens, and the green ones are the good ones that want to help us, and the red ones are the bad ones, because green is good and red is bad. Come on, let's go. The Marine has a pile of bottle caps just in his pockets. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna do some stuff with Ayla. <laughs>